Once upon a time, six friends named Hank, Presto, Eric, Diana, Sheila, and her younger brother Bobby embarked on an adventure they never expected. They were just out for a night of fun at an amusement park when they decided to try a ride named Dungeons and Dragons. Little did they know, this ride would transport them into a world filled with danger and magic, the very world of Dungeons and Dragons itself. In this new, mysterious realm, the friends soon found themselves under attack by all sorts of monsters and terrifying creatures. Just when things looked hopeless, a small, enigmatic figure known as the Dungeon Master appeared. After a tiny unicorn runs into them, the Dungeon Master offers them help in the form of magical items, each uniquely suited to their abilities and personalities. Hank, known as the Ranger, received a bow that could shoot arrows made of pure energy. Presto, the magician, was given a magical hat from which he could pull out spells. Eric, the cavalier, received a powerful shield capable of deflecting any attack. Diana, the acrobat, was gifted an extendable javelin that enhanced her acrobatic skills. Sheila, the thief, got a cloak that made her invisible when she pulled up its hood. And little Bobby, the barbarian, received a mighty club that could crush anything it hit. However, their journey in this realm was far from easy. They were relentlessly pursued by the evil Venger, a man with a mysterious connection to the Dungeon Master. Venger's ultimate aim was to capture the six magical items the friends possessed. He had a sneaky assistant, the Shadow Demon, who spied on the kids and reported back to him. Adding to their troubles was Tiamat, a fearsome five-headed dragon who was assisting Venger, although Tiamat occasionally opposes Venger due to their mutual enmity. Despite the constant danger, the friends never lost hope. They kept searching for a way back home, following the guidance of the Dungeon Master, who would often tell them where they were needed most. After Tiamat is temporarily trapped in a cave, our group of young heroes, guided by the cryptic Dungeon Master, find themselves journeying north to a mysterious village. Along the way, they come across signs leading to Merlin's castle. Diana, the skilled acrobat of the group, uses her prowess to pull Vault across a sky moat, enabling them to lower the drawbridge and enter the castle. Inside, they meet a white-haired wizard who they initially mistake for Merlin. However, in a surprising twist, the wizard reveals he's not Merlin by removing his hat and wig, showing his bald head. This wizard tells the kids about his past deeds of saving a village from dragons, but disappointingly informs them he cannot send them back home. Suddenly, Tiamat, the same fearsome dragon, attacks, leading to a thrilling battle. Despite his boastful stories, the supposed Merlin stands idly by during the fight. In a clever turn of events, Presto, the magician of the group, conjures a huge carpet, which they use to trap Tiamat in a dungeon hole. After the battle, the wizard offers to take Presto as an apprentice. Presto agrees, but the rest of the group continues their journey to Helix. However, back at the castle, Presto inadvertently releases a horde of dragons previously contained by the real Merlin. It's then revealed that the wizard is actually Venger, the main antagonist, who had tricked Presto into undoing Merlin's magic, unleashing chaos on the village. The group rushes back to the castle to confront Venger and save Presto. They realize the only way to defeat Venger is to release Tiamat, who is also an enemy of Venger. In the end, Presto successfully casts a spell to save Helix gaining confidence in his magical abilities. As time passes on, the young adventurers encounter various inhabitants of the realm, some friendly, others hostile. They assist those in need while searching for a way back home, guided by the cryptic advice of the Dungeon Master, who appears sporadically to offer wisdom and guidance. But on one fine morning in a suburban home, a terrifying event unfolds as a child is suddenly pulled under his bed, despite his father's desperate attempts to save him. In a distant realm, our group of adventurers journey through a crystal desert. Lost yet determined, they encounter the Dungeon Master, who speaks cryptically of the city at the edge of midnight. He entrusts them with a vital mission, to rescue children from both their world and this realm. Their quest leads them to a rare oasis, only to find it guarded by giant owl-like creatures with talons for hands. Just as the situation becomes dire, an Arabian warrior, riding a colossal elephant-like creature, 
and wielding a scimitar that emits sonic beams comes to their aid. He suggests they join forces and they agree. The warrior, named Ramud, invites them to his tent for a feast, sharing the sorrowful tale of his daughter's mysterious disappearance. His paternal kindness resonates with the homesick adventurers, especially when he gives Sheila, his daughter's doll, which moves her to tears. As midnight approaches, their surroundings turn sinister. A portal opens beneath Bobby's bedroll, and a massive demon known as the Nightwalker emerges, abducting Bobby. Without hesitation or discussion, the remaining adventurers combine the powers of their magical weapons to reopen the portal and pursue it. They find themselves in the city at the edge of midnight, a place trapped in time, where the clock is perpetually a minute before midnight. The city is enveloped in long shadows and eerie silence, with miniature dragons continuously launching attacks from windows. The dragons lead them to a vast factory filled with gears, where they discover children laboring to prevent the clock from striking midnight. The adventurers spring into action, scaling a towering structure to rescue Bobby. As the final fight unfurls, Bobby heroically smashes the gears, allowing the clock to strike midnight. This act triggers the children's return to their homes. They encounter Jimmy, the child from before, who recognizes them and promises to contact their parents. In a surprising revelation, Jimmy informs them that on Earth, it's still the same day they disappeared, so no one is overly concerned yet. Their adventure concludes in the desert, where they reunite with Ramud's daughter at the tent. As we continue on into the final adventures of our young group, the stakes escalate as the children come closer to finding a way home. However, without a definitive ending for the series, the fate of the children and their quest to return home to this date remains unresolved.